Hi, Chum. Hey, welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, buddy? Well, like some weed eating need to be done. I know. It. Look, we're at a uh, old Mac dump truck. We think it's a CH, maybe 613, 713. I don't know if they make a 713, but 613. It's got a million two hundred thousand something miles on it. So we're going to clean up around it. Then we'll investigate it a little more, and we will get to it. Try to crank it. Been sitting here. How many years he said it was sitting here, Wiley? Uh, 10. 10 years. Been sitting here 10 years. He said he drove it here and parked it. 15 years. 15 years. He got the easy. He got the easy piece. I got the same car here. I don't like this weed eater very much, Wiley. You don't like the head of it? Yeah. It always gets sucked up in there, you know what I mean? Oops. I remember a man told me a story one time. He was, he was logging, he had a saw man. He, I think he liked to drink a little bit. <laughs> no. He'd hear him down there running the chainsaw for a couple of hours, and all of a sudden, the scooter operators come back and say, we ain't got no wood. And he walked down there, and he's sitting on the tree just raving that saw <laughs> like he's working. <laughs> And he's partaking in the spirits. Yeah, that's hilarious. True story. That's so funny. <laughs> All right. I might do that with this steel. There you People go. Say, well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I hear him always getting that at <laughs> Wally, we have some easy ones now. We're getting paid back, ain't we? Yeah. Watch your nugget. That dump bed, that, that thing's not forgiving, is it? <laughs> no. A little, little harder than your head. How about you? Let me tell you a little bit about the history of the Mack truck and how we got to where we are today. The Mack truck company was actually started by two brothers, the Mack brothers, in 1900, and they started out by making buses. They moved from New York and then they placed their headquarters in North Carolina. Now this is something that's really cool. They changed their name in 1921 from Mack brothers to Mack trucks. But the name change is not what is cool. What is cool is they actually went, now they started using the iconic Bulldog logo for their trucking company emblem. They made some changes along the way. In 1956, they actually bought out the Brockway Truck Company. Now, if you can find a Brockway truck, that's kind of rare, right? A lot of people look for those things. They're great looking trucks. Mack bought them in 1956. So that gets us where we are today. Mack is actually owned by Volvo Trucking now but they still use the iconic Bulldog logo and we're going to take the CH600, we're going to work on it, we're going to see if we can get it driving and dumping again. There's some challenges in this video, so, you know, <laughs> well, there, there's, I'll just let you watch it, all right? You guys watch the video and you'll see what we're talking about. See if I ain't got any friends in there. Uh-oh. Uh, safety first. <laughs> Door's got crack in it. Man. All right, that's all right. Well. We'll figure it out. Maybe we're staying this side most of the day. Yeah, I hope. Uh oh. We might not even can get in this one. Hmm. Well. Let's go to the other side. That might be our best bet. Alright. Oh yeah, we got it right here, Hank. We just pop that vent right there. Well, I thought we were. <laughs> Ow, that scared me. All right, looks clean. CH600, yeah, we said 613, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, I'm looking for any wasp. Oh, I see one right, I see some right there. So I need to make sure we take care of that. Keys are in it, Wiley. I'm telling you what, if you switch it on and you hear buzzers going off, it'd be so grateful. Uh, well, let me uh, let me kill these wasps first. Okay. Uh, there's 
five or six of them sitting here, so we need to take care of them. It's going to be 12 and 91, so it's probably a 92 model. Yep. 30-year-old truck with a million, 200,000 miles on it. We'll get the exact mileage here in a sec. Here's, he ran it 20 years. Put a million miles on it. Okie dokie. Let's give his boys a shot of something special. I got some uh, liquid wrench lubricating oil. Let's see if that works. Here we go. We're about to find out. <laughs> it looks like it worked. Well, there's the batteries. Hey, batteries are in the shade, man. Look at the Lord blessing us today. Well, I wonder why the, I wish the man's son would have come over here and <laughs> try to start this one. Yeah. Let me see what these look like. Yeah, what Wiley's referencing is a uh, international dump truck that we did where the sun, it's set for 10 years, but the sun started it like three years ago. It's the same, same owner here. downs and everything in it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good shape, man. Good shape. Yes sir. Look at them jump leads right there. Man, those are nice. Nice, sweet. I'm not used to this one. I'm not either. I don't know if we can just wheel these batteries to be good. <laughs> Please. Please. We ain't even seen what the engine looks like in it. Let's take the let's raise the hood, dude. Any guesses? That is nice. Look at that rat nest in there. Wiley, I mean, something's been building. Something's been building something. Ugh. The other side. Let's see what the other side entails. We'll have to Google what the particulars are on a I mean, it's a it's a Mac engine. We know that, but yeah. uh, you know, we'll see what size. Oh, there's a data plate right there. Maybe an MP something. It is a 110 or 11 GBA uh, 99 90. Wait a minute. I don't know. I can't read. I can barely make it out. So. Let's see if there's anybody living in this thing. I don't see anybody scurrying around. I'm gonna dig out some of this stuff on this side, Wiley. All right. This stuff is fresh, too. On my side, it's green. Is it? Yes. Yeah. They're like, get out of here, people. We were living here, no problems. I wonder how many trips they made. Oh, he well, he said thousands. No, I'm talking no. about the rat. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the owner of the truck. Uh -uh. He said he had carried thousands of loads in this dump truck. Or tens of thousands, maybe. Well, you ever drove a dump truck before? Well, not really. I have. I used to... Uh, when I had when I retired, I took a job, and part of my responsibilities were the guys that drove the dump trucks and stuff. And so sometimes I'd ride along with them, or I'd even sneak up in there when there wasn't nobody looking every now and again, you know. Yeah. But it was, yeah, that's uh, there's a lot of crud in there. I like those tri-axle um, with a tag axle on it. Yeah. Man, you put a lot of weight in those. What's this one, about a 14 yard, you think? I think so, and uh, I think if you add that two by six, you'll get a 16. Yeah, on, on the top, top of, of the bed you're talking? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Of course, I don't say you're gonna get 16 of my yards in here. <laughs> I got a big old yard, <laughs> but that's what it says. Somebody asked me one time, they said, how big's a yard? I said, or how many feet are in a yard? I said, well, I guess it depends on how many people are standing in it. 
<laughs> How many pieces? All right. That's probably enough to. That's probably enough to. Uh, I don't know if one of these sticks get under this belt, it'll probably cause it to. You're supposed to say clear prop. Oh, uh, yeah, clear prop. Belt turns in shape too, it looks like. I just, I'm, I'm afraid if I spin it too fast, it's going to crank while I'm scared. Uh, you're not turning the crank, Hank. <laughs> just turning the clutch fast. You're not that. What if I turn it so fast it cranks, Wally? Uh, be awesome. <laughs> I hope it's out of gear. Well, it's making a little oil, Hank. I think that's the transmission fluid, to be honest with you. Hank. What's that say right there? Flip that stick over. What's that say right there? Uh. Range. Oh, I thought it said trans. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I couldn't see, Wiley. Listen, just because you identify as a truck mechanic <laughs> today don't mean you are one. Oh, my God. I, I honestly thought it said trans on it. Oh, yeah, it's got some. We're looking good on the coolant. All right. Here's what the top of the power plant looks like. Oh man, we're gonna to look at that, Wally. They done built something in there too. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's a good thing you've seen that. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to clean that out for yeah. sure. Yeah, that that would probably restrict the flow of air just a tick. Golly. <laughs> look at that air filter. My word, that's as long as that's tall as long as you are tall. Watch you, sir. Come on. Look at all they got their food stored in there. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's... All right. That's good. She might be able to breathe a little easier now. Hang on, Hank. Let, let set it back off. We got it hung up under here. Well. Okie dokie. All we gotta do now is put batteries in her. Let me get the famous, uh, the good battery tester and let's see if those has got anything in them. All right. It's hot over there, ain't it? Well, yes it is. It ain't too hot over here, Wiley. You got the air conditioner blowing? <laughs> I see these, you hogging it all now. These are, these are in, between, in between shots. Wait, let me check that oil. <laughs> You know what I thought we'd see, but we didn't? Snakes. You know what I was hoping to get a hold to one day? What's that? An air starter. Really? We used to have an RMAC that had an air starter on it. Really? We did. And when that thing go off, if you weren't ready for it, it'd make <laughs> you leave your skin. Yeah. Can you feel that? I can. And I, I can remember the clutch going out yeah. on those trucks. Right. And those drivers would still run it till the weekend. Without a clutch. Unbelievable. They timed the red lights. Of course, traffic went back as much then back in yeah. the 70s, but right, right, right. It was still, there was drivers that. I mean, they were still horse and buggies on the road when you were driving. Yeah. Huh? Well, I wasn't driving. I was. <laughs> I mean, six. Uh, six. Yeah, 6.3. Six point three, so that's probably all. Six point three. 
other ones were eight and we hooked the two batteries up to it and it worked. Did I? What you think? Yeah, I'll just bring, uh, I'll just bring two batteries over here. Actually, I brought three. I don't, I don't have any uh, screw top posts though. I've only got, um, I've only got round top posts. Isn't that nice? Do what? I said that's nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I always try to be prepared as possible. Are you thinking about just going to the starter? Yeah, I thought we might could just hook the, hook some battery. We put the battery cables on those batteries and like put a, a battery direct to that in our cobbling way. I think this track, this track was already loose. Uh, we can, let's just undo them and see what we can cobble together. Okay. Sam. Two batteries should start it. It's yeah. a Mac. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go get the tools and I'll go get the crescent wrench. <laughs> And then we'll go back and get the batteries once we get them out. How's that? Yeah. I think I strongly suggest this. Let's take these batteries out. Let's go over there to the International and take those batteries and put them in here and let them stay here because that International is not going to run. Yeah. Because of there. And if this thing cranks and runs, he can restart it and crank it back up. Moving. And they're his batteries anyway. That's right. Okay. All right. Let's go do that. And uh, I think that'd be the best thing to do. So let's just take these out. That's your favorite wrench, isn't it? Yes, sir. And I hope the, I hope the uh, wind noise ain't too bad in the microphone. Well, they just gonna, we're just going to have to deal <laughs> with that. I know this step out does not have to come off, so it should come off. First time batteries out in 15 years. I'll get these batteries. I appreciate you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll get Look oh. at Come on, Wiley. Gosh. Hey, I'm going to take the battery, so guess what? You can pick up all the sockets. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's, wait, that's payback, ain't it, Wally? It got you out of my fan. I guess. <laughs> I was willing to sacrifice a few sockets I, I for air. That. Are you taking all three of them out? Yeah, might as well. All right. There's one, one bad battery. will probably bring the rest of them down, huh? One bad apple don't spoil the whole darn bunch. Woo! Give it one more time <laughs> before you give up on the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Hank and Wiley's greatest hits are coming out yeah. soon, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. You'll be able to buy them on my link down below. Just think that'd be best to speed us up on what we're doing, because yeah, you're going, you, you know, you got to have. Yeah, you got to have power. Got to. All right. And those charged up. Sounds and good. we can pull the truck over there with your cables and go there and get the starter somewhere but while we're here why don't we check the fuel yeah, we need a hamptonville farm i got it right here i bought it didn't I? fuel sticker <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. that thing making, making fuel yeah man he wasn't kidding that thing 10 years has been parked man, you reckon how much fuel was 10 years ago it's a global it's a global problem. Alrighty, we'll take the batteries out of this and it'll be good to see. See if you can get your crescent wrench under the bottom of that one. Alright. Oh I see I see blood, Hank. Yeah. To survive. I'll survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. Gloria Gaynor. I'm glad you said that because I was sitting here wondering what her name was. <laughs> What's your name is? Gloria Gaynor. Very bright. 
Wait a minute. Oh, wrong one. Oh, you got, oh, there it is. My gosh, this thing was clamped down, wasn't it? Now we probably just have to loosen them, Hank. No? Yeah, maybe. One back here in the back. There's two on that side. Surely not. Yes, don't call me Shirley. Well, maybe we can loosen them up and lift it up high enough and start sliding them out. Yeah, maybe not. Boy. try to get them all loose and then lose the nut in the dirt. Yeah. The best well, you accomplish that mission. <laughs> That's the best technique. Mission accomplished. But that was a fast way to handle that. Yeah. I think it's under that. That back there, ain't it? Oh, it's hitting it, man. There's hitting that cell. Hang on. I don't think we need to do that. Just hang on. Let the whole thing slides. We just slide the batteries out. One by one. Uno. <laughs> Dos. From my Spanish speaking friends. Ow. <laughs> was that your eyeball? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you get, that was it your bad eye? Yeah. Three. <laughs> we have made it back. It is hot. My goodness, it's hot. No. Oh. Well, I'm trying to see if we got any juice. Let's hook up some jumper cables to it. Sounds good. What do you jumper cables through the cab? I got plenty. Of, I got. I got, pl I got plenty too. Yeah. Close to 12 volts, it's like 11. You wanna try it? This, you wanna let it charge just a tad? Yeah, yeah. I wonder if I'm getting a good connection on my cables. Do what? I wonder if I'm getting a good connection on my cables to you. You getting some ether? I am. It don't need it. Hang on. You ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. My bad. Here we go. No. Maybe not. Nowhere near enough juice. 20,370 hours on it. What's you showing on your voltage? 11. Oh, now it went to 13. Let me try it again. Did you move something? No. Oh. But it's uh, let's do something about the ground and yeah, see where we are. Okay, then we'll have to do some cobbling after all, huh? Yeah. Hope that's long enough. Now there's the problem. This thing's not. 
the ground better. Yeah, that's all right. We got plenty. I might buy me another set today just because. Five better than four sometimes. Yeah. Gotta climb in on this side now. Hope, uh, hope it don't blow up through the door. <laughs> Say when. Was it showing anything different? No, it's actually worse. Worse? Yeah, it's a tick over 12. See what it do. Hey. Yeah. Ready? Come on. Ready? Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's already building air, Wiley. I'm going to try to close the hood. Jump cables off. Oh, I was. Who's going there? First time in 15 <laughs> years. <laughs> That little bit of water right there kept Hank almost bogged him down. Got a few flat tires. Brake lights work. Let me land this thing. Um. Uh, 
and we can dump it. He's gonna back it down here and we're gonna try to, to dump on it. Those two tires are flat on that pool and All right, we can't, we're doing all the PTO switches inside the cab and stuff, but it ain't, it ain't raising the bed. So I'm not sure if anything's wrong with the PTO not engaging or whatever without getting up underneath it. Okay, these, these handles were turned down. So we opened up those lines. Let's see if that works. Okay, hey, grind me a pound while you're up there. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Yeah, there you go. That was it. All right. Yeah, it was those levers. That's it. Yep. Unlock that tailgate! Now that tailgate should come open. Man, I need to dump truck so bad I can't stand it. There it goes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's the first time that thing's dumped. Yeah. We probably should have checked those hinges, but <laughs> we got lucky and it didn't come off. Wow, what if those hinges would have broke? That would not have been good. Now the tarp. Man, this thing's a good dump truck. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, it stopped. The tarp, is the tarp stuck? There you go. No. Oh, that was all right. <laughs> hey, let's get in the shade. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Walk over into the shade. Pretty cool, old Max C8 600. It was. It didn't put up too much of a fight, did it? It didn't. The two flat tires is what kind of kept you from getting a good traction. Yeah. Trying to get out of there. Been sitting there for 10 years, it was stuck to the ground. Yeah. Hey, listen, let me ask y'all something. All right, if you're watching your phone like this, underneath the video here, there's gonna be the title of the video, and underneath that title, it may be say more with three dots. That'll be a description. It will have a bunch of links in there for clothing tools, acne tools, uh, Elgin True Work clothes. Those are affiliate links and we earn commission if you use those. Sometimes there's discount codes on there as well. If you're watching it like this, take your phone and turn it like this so you can see all that information below. And that would really help support the channel. But 
It's a good one, Wiley. It was. I'm glad, yeah. it, I'm glad it fired right up. I believe it did. I'm, gl I'm glad it did too. So, anyway, hey, listen, we appreciate you guys tagging along. Make sure you check out that Red International we stole the batteries from. Yeah. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. You guys take care. God bless you guys.